Hello, our read aloud today is When a Dragon Moves In Again, written by Jody Moore, that means she wrote the words, illustrated by Howard McWilliam, that means that he drew the pictures. Here we go. If you help your dad build a castle, a dragon will move in. Look at the castle. Hmm. Does that look like a castle? Kind of, but what else is it? Hmm. Let's find out. He'll settle in all cozy and peep at you from inside, and you'll wonder how you ever got so lucky. Until... That's for the baby, sweetie, your mom will say. Baby? You and your dragon will ask. Remember? Your dad will say. You'll be the big brother. I hope it's a girl, your sister will add. Oh my. Is that a castle that he's in? Or is that a crib, a baby crib? It's a baby crib and that is what they sleep in, not a castle. Your mom will pat her swelling belly. Feel the baby move, she'll say. Babies like music, your dad will explain. This plays music for the baby above its crib. So you and your dragon will sing your favorite song for the baby again and again and again. I really hope it's a girl, your sister will mutter. Oh my, do you think that they like that? They look a little bit annoyed. One day, the baby will arrive. He'll look like you, only tinier and droolier and stinkier, and he'll cry a lot. Look at all these pictures. Oh my, they're bringing the baby home. He's looking at the baby saying, hey, it looks like me. He's seeing that the baby is so tiny, but look at all the drool and all the stinky mess and the screaming. Oh my. Luckily, you and your dragon can entertain him. First, you'll show off your bowling skills. <laughs> look at, they're using a ball and baby bottles. <laughs> look at mom. What is she doing? These are not toys, your mom will say. Hmm. Next, you'll play airplane. Zoom! The baby will giggle. Your parents will not crash. It wasn't me, you'll explain. It was the dragon. And you'll hear he 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 from behind the couch. Do you think that his parents believe there's a dragon? I don't think so. I think they think it's him making a big mess. Lunchtime, your dad will say, so your sister will make peanut butter sandwiches. Dragons don't eat crust, you'll grumble. There's no such thing as dragon, she'll say. Your dragon will snicker again, he he he, and accidentally spill juice on her. Oh my, do you think she's going to be mad at his dragon or him? Probably him, because she doesn't know there's a dragon. Nap time, your dad will announce. Not for me, you'll say. Naps are for babies. Not for big boys like me and my... Dragon? Hmm. Where's his dragon going? Dragon? Dragon! Hey! Wah! Oh no, you woke the baby, your mom will say. It wasn't me, you'll tell her. It was the dragon. He he. Huh? Let's look what's happening. He's looking for his dragon. He's looking outside for dragon. He walked upstairs looking for dragon. And where did he find the dragon? Sleeping and taking a nap with the baby. And then he comes in and screams, hey. And he wakes the baby up, making the baby cry. And then he blames it on the dragon. But the dragon goes, huh? I was taking a nap with the baby, doing my job. Young man, I think we've had enough of this dragon business, your dad will say. And I've had enough of this baby business, you'll yell. Send him back. 
Oh my, how do you think he's feeling? And look at the dragon's face. He looks shocked. Instead, instead, they'll send you to time out, but you won't care. You don't need that baby or that dragon. You still have your books and your blocks and your blanket. Does he look happy in this picture? No. Which happens to be your dragon's blanket, too. You'll wonder if he misses it. Perhaps you should check. Wah! Wah! The baby will cry. Hush, baby, you'll whisper. You'll pat his tummy. He'll burp and cry some more. You'll plunk his pacifier into his mouth. He'll pop it out and cry again. Look, at first his mom is looking. And in this picture, she has a little smile. And then his mom and dad are looking. And they both look pretty happy. Finally, you'll remember, babies like music. So you'll tuck your blanket around him and sing, soft and soothing, until he settles. And you'll decide that this baby can stay. Now look who's watching. His sister, too. At least until tomorrow. <laughs> like they're trying to build a tower and look at what hits it. Oh my. And they have all the silly pictures as a family. Oh my, look at the dragon. Blowing its fire. Crazy. Alright, I hope you enjoyed my story. Bye, friends.